Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jordy and I want to do a little discussion video today uh, about my career beyond and uh, you know what I'm doing after the my career mode. Um, nothing. That's what I'm doing. No, this isn't a troll video. I don't feel as if I have to do this anymore, you know? Like, I've done two straight years of working myself to the bone just to create a fluent story and I don't really want to go through that again after only just completing the last one like t two months, two, three months ago with Jordi Paul from V1. I don't want to do that again as Jordi Disorder. So I think it's done. The story of Jordi Disorder is basically done. Uh, don't worry, universe mode, gonna carry on. We're still gonna do my player towers and sometimes we'll even do my career mode, okay? Um, but like you know there's only there's just side matches going on now so that's gonna be pretty rare but my player towers looks like a pretty cool thing that will be really cool to do every single day well it will start to become once a week but i think we're gonna get right into like doing actual episodes of it and i've also got a live stream to showcase at some point yes i will get to it i promise definitely before the end of this year like no doubt but uh yeah, I, I do apologize for not doing the showcase, but yeah, uh, I am sorry if some of you were looking forward to the my, my career, like what happens afterwards with Jordi Disorder. I just don't feel as if I want to do anymore, you know? Like I have so many ideas, like I could have even like restarted the whole thing and did a Jordi Paul from MV2 and like only did part of it in... Did, did part of my career mode then after getting rejected by WWE I move on to New Japan instead I had an idea like that with Jordi Puffman V2 to make him an indie star instead of a WWE star Hall of Famer you know shit like that I just you know I don't want to put myself through that work again now what like who knows I might end up doing something like that but like not as frequently as I did with 2k17 and 2k18 like I don't know what I want to do right now so the last thing i want to do is do what i've been doing i just add even more to my schedule and even more to my play i've got a let's play coming soon um whether that's new or whether it's not let's play you guys will find out um but yeah i've got that coming back soon i've got like i think i've got like seven summer episodes pre-recorded so you know i'll be able to take a break from youtube while still uploading and that'll be pretty cool I think I'll start doing that next week. But I've also got Fortnite to catch up with. You know, i got to do the Battle Pass and all that shit. Like, I'm not... I don't... I mean, that's really the main reason why I've not been able to do the showcase. Because I just don't have time for this game. Now, don't get me wrong. This game is absolutely fucking incredible. But to tell you the truth, WWE 2K17 and WWE 2K18, like in a sense burnt me out like i was done i was shot after 2k18 universe career mode especially in that last episode when i finished editing and it finally uploaded and i saw those views about to rack uh, i saw those views racking up i think right now it's like over 120 views which is absolutely incredible i must say um how much support that series got as much as i'd want to do that again with all the views and like if i could go back in time yes i would probably still do it Except uh, the fact that I probably wouldn't buy 2k18. Let's be serious for a moment I probably if I knew how bad the game was gonna be I wouldn't have bought it I would have carried on with 2k17 and finished it like that or maybe transitioned into 2k16 I could have do could have done that. I don't think it would have been as successful though Because you know on views ratings and shit uh, but yeah You know, I've got fresh ideas and none of them include WWE 2K19. I do apologize for that, but if I was ever gonna do anything, like even the thing I said earlier about having a whole career in Japan, it would literally be a rehash of 2K17 because I'm just burnt out. I've got no ideas when it comes to my career beyond. Like I've been thinking, I've, I have a basic template of what I would have wanted to go with, but you know, I, I, and I do apologize. I don't really know what to do with it, right? I do re honestly apologize for that, but I'm going to try my best to uh, bring you guys good content without the My Career Mode. But uh, for the first time in my YouTube career, 
uh, with this channel anyways, I'm not going to be doing my career mode anytime soon. Not in this game anyway, okay? And uh, don't think that's me confirming anything like, oh, he's going to go back to 2K17 or something like that. I do plan to go to the older games, but that's a year in the making. That's next year. Before the next game comes out, I'll be playing 2K17, 2K16, 2K15, even 2K18. I'll be playing all of them, showing you guys what I thought of the game and what I think. This improved on everything, honestly. You know, I think... This real, this is the best WWE game since SmackDown versus no. This is the best WWE game since 2K14, or should I just say WWE14 because it was literally made by THQ and then they went out of business before it released, unfortunately. And it makes me really sad because, I mean, if we had THQ, yes, we wouldn't have my career mode, but I think we would probably have some form of career mode. It just wouldn't be as good as this. And like, as bad as everyone says the 2K16, 2K17 my career was, like, those were good my careers. Now, we look at 2K15, that got boring real quick, it became repetitive. 2K18, it, there was just nothing in it, and this is even worse, okay? I'm sorry, but if you think about the original build for 2K18 before they patched it and then completely just ruined the game you were able to go after titles in 2k18 once you finish the story not a lot of you will remember this a lot of you would deny that you remember this or whatever but um what i remember from 2k18 and what you could go back and look in the episodes as well you could go after whatever titles you want and that's what i think my career should have should have been okay we have the little story yeah the whole story cool afterwards though what are we meant to do 2K18 had the right idea, you know, we just go after titles till we level up to level 10 in every way. Which we could have fucking done, but they patched it out. They patched it out, we couldn't go after titles anymore, and it's the same with this. You do nothing, it's even worse in this game actually. And I feel, I feel so sad to just say that. Like, 2K, what do you expect, okay? I'm just, I just need to say something. What do you expect? You're gonna make the my career, do you expect people to play it for the entire year? Dude, this game is going to be dead. This game is going to be dead by December. Trust me. So I'm, I'm almost glad I don't have to do the micro now. And I'm, I wish I never did 2K18. As good as it was, I honestly could have done everything I did in 2K18 in 2K17. So had I known, had I had known that 2K18 was going to be as bad as it was, I'd never have got it. I would have never have got it. Fuck the views, fuck the subscribers that I got. Like, I do appreciate you all being here, but I meant the number of people that joined the channel. Like, yeah, I would have thrown all that away because of the stress that WWE 2K18 gave me. And as good as this game is, it's not that different. It's just minus the bugs. It's still as boring as ever. It's gonna be me doing the same thing each and every year and i honestly just don't want to do that i want to do what i want to do now i'm coming up to gcses and shit like that and i don't want to be caught up making my career okay even universe mode it's only going to last up until fast lane in real time like in real life by fast lane the series is going to be over like same day as fast lane i'm going to be streaming the finale of universe mode all the series will not last, all the series that I have got going right now will not last that long. Except maybe Need for Speed, I'll still be doing random Let's Plays around there, but with consistent Let's Plays, we're not going to really have anything. Except maybe Towers, actually. Towers will be week on a weekly basis. Because uh, Towers is actually a really cool game mode, and I think this is what will keep the game kind of alive. But the core element of the game is going to die by Christmas, honestly. Um, it really saddens me to say that, but that is also why I'm not pre-ordering the game anymore. I might not even buy another WWE game. And it's not even because this is bad, it's just that this good game, this amazing WWE game has come one year too late. And I'm not even taking, saying this off a script, you know I'm passionate about my WWE games. Because this is literally coming off the top of my head. I'm literally walking around my room right now for some reason. 
saying off the top of my head what I think of this series. And I could literally do a whole video, but I don't want to because this game doesn't deserve me being so mad at it because it's a great game. I'm, gonna li I'm not going to lie. WW2K19 is an amazing game. Now, if it was bad, you would have had a different, you know, viewpoint. As in, I would have, I did say back in 2K18, if this game was bad, I would hand it back in. I'd sell it after finishing the series. I wouldn't keep playing it. And honestly, I'm glad it's good because this is the WWE game that I'm going to be playing for the next few years. I'm not going to be playing 2K20. Probably not anyways. I'll get it pretty late, actually. Uh, I don't know. But I'm not going to be buying the games as soon as they come out or before they come out anymore. Like, they're not good enough. As good as this game is, it's not good enough for a WWE game. It really isn't. It's, it's a sorry excuse of a WWE game, honestly. We honestly think this game is so incredible because we've kind of been brainwashed because of how bad the previous games have been. Compare this to any WWE game THQ made. This gets forgotten about, honestly. No one fucking cares. 2K are not that good at making WWE games. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, 2K. But you're shit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. You literally put out broken games. You had a game mode in an exhibition. What was it? Uh, the, the Wyatt Compound? Yeah, I think that was the game mode. And uh, when I watched Pulse's vid the other day, you removed it before the game came out. How did I know this? Because you literally patched it as soon as we got the game. When I opened up the game, what did I see? WW2K19 version 1.01. .01. They patched something, and I think at one, at one point, I think I'm going to delete the game and then get it back and see exactly what they had removed, what needed improving. This game needs a patch. It's been overdue for some time. Uh, and we still haven't got it yet, unfortunately. But yeah, that's the plan for the next year. I'm not doing my career on this game anyways. Uh, we'll do random Let's Plays once Ryan has finished up with my career. Maybe if he wants, we can do it at the same time as him. Maybe we can do a my career alternate. Who bloody knows? And my career alternate, if I do it this year, it will be drastically different from what I've been doing in previous years. Because in previous years, We've done it in the same universe. I think Mike Alternate will do it in a different universe, different version of Geordie. Maybe a Geordie Disorder V2, or I don't know. I would never do a Geordie Pole from a V2, though, because I want to put a lot of hard work in that. If my character is called Geordie Polferman, just know that I'm going to put a lot of fucking hard work in it. If it's called Geordie Disorder, I'm playing the game just to enjoy the game in itself. And honestly, I do not regret it, honestly, okay? I thoroughly enjoyed the 2K19 my career and you could tell because every episode was over two hours long apart from the last one which was like 40 odd minutes long because that was the finale so you know I don't know and then we did a we did a live stream what happens after my career mode and we just got bored so easily we didn't even make it to summer we didn't even make it to the next month what what we did like three weeks of the month and I got bored of the game already dude even 2K18 wasn't that bad until they patched it of course but and I really wish they didn't patch 2K18 because I probably would have kept playing it like so much more than I did if they hadn't patched it, bro. And I wish we were able to do the stuff that we were able to do in the original patch for 2K18 in this. You know, go after the championships that we want to. Yes, it seems aimless, but we were still able to like get championships and it felt good to win the championships, you know? I remember having a whole three hour WW2K18 episode just going after the Intercontinental Championship and it felt so horrible to lose it. And Ryan remembers, I played the game all fucking day until I got that Intercontinental Championship back. And when I got it back, that is one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life, okay? I mean, the best feeling I've ever had in my life, definitely winning it for the first time in 2K17. Because as hard as 2K18 was to win that title back, it was drastically much, much, much more difficult to win it for the first time in 2K17. Because we all know, WWE World Heavyweight Championship rankings, they were kind of broken as well. But you could win the Money in the Bank. You could win Royal Rumble. And you'd get that title shot, okay? United States title, it was a tutorial level. You were able to move up. Both NXT titles, tutorial levels. Tag team titles, tutorial levels. If you wanted to prove you were the best 
at WW2K17, it's the Intercontinental Championship. You win that, and you're among the elite, okay? I'm just saying. All right, so that's that might even be a series idea. Like, let me know, guys. Let me know. Should we go back to 2K17 just to win the Intercontinental Championship? I mean, I wouldn't be against it. I would do it. I, I wouldn't guarantee completing it, though, and it would be a recorded series as well. I wouldn't live stream it. But, uh, yeah. Guys, let me know what you would want instead. And, uh, you know, I'll just see what the best idea is. Like, every time you guys suggest something, I take it to heart and I try to think of what I should do. And, you know, stuff for that. When you when you guys asked for WWE Supercard, like, last year, I brought it even though I didn't want to bring it. Um, we did, like, over 10 episodes of it. Uh, I'm not going to bring it back now. There's no reason for me to bring it back. That AJ Styles code, I just gave it to my uncle, like, straight away. I just honestly don't care about WWE Supercard. But I, I could go to, back to WWE Champions or something like that. I mean, the possibilities are endless. Like, I could do anything. Just not my career. Okay? I can't. So, you know. But yeah, guys, let me know. And uh, I'll see you soon. Peace!